Richard Glossop was convicted of murder in 2004 and sentenced to death. Unless we do something to stop it now, he will be executed on September 22nd. Here is why I'm fighting to have a hearing on his claim of innocence. Did you know there was not one witness called for the defense at Glossop's trial in 2004? Did you know that one of the key witnesses for the state, Cliff Everhart, was sent to prison for making false statements in another case? Did you know the only witness who says Richard Glossop was the mastermind of the murder is the actual murderer himself, Justin Sneed? Did you know that Sneed never mentioned Richard Glossop's name in his police interview until the investigators fed Sneed his name six times? Did you know that Sneed was offered life in prison instead of the death penalty because he pointed the finger at Richard Glossop? Did you know multiple new witnesses say that Sneed was a thief who would steal anything that was not tied down for meth money before he committed the murder? Did you know new witnesses say that Sneed was violent and used prostitutes to lure men to rooms at the Best Budget Inn so he could rob them for meth money. Did you know? New witnesses say that Sneed told them he committed this murder with his girlfriend for meth money. Did you know? New witnesses say that Justin Sneed laughed when he talked about setting up Richard Glossop to take the fall. Did you know? New witnesses say that Sneed showed no remorse for murdering Barry Van Trees. Did you know? An independent investigation has found if all this evidence were presented at trial, no reasonable juror would find Glossop guilty of murder. All of this is true. And now you know. I'm State Representative Kevin McDougal. Please tell the Attorney General and the Governor that Richard Glossop deserves a fair hearing on all of this new evidence. Do not kill an innocent man in our name. Thank you.